Hello everyone and welcome back to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda, your virtual piano teacher. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of this channel. I'm leaving the link in the description of this video, where you will find also the link for my artistic channel Gianluca Fronda, pianist and composer, if you're interested in original music and covers. Talking about this channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me know about yourself uh, by commenting, tell me when uh, you have started, if you are finding my channel interesting and you are improving your skills also thanks to my videos. And don't forget also to share with your friends if there is anybody interesting in piano music, any, that, anybody that you know. So now time to go to our lesson. Today it's time for me to talk about bugles on page 33 of John Thompson's Easiest Piano Course Part 1 The easy is the piece where you uh, confirm and uh, let's say empower even more the little finger where you give extra strength to the little finger because we have discovered that we can use the little finger exactly in the previous one in the theme from the New World Symphony where you have used for the first time the little finger playing the G, obviously, is still the G and you will play the, with the little finger for the right hand the G up to the end of this book um, is um, tricky for um, mainly for this reason that you have to use and uh, abuse of the little finger in this one then, because you have to move from the little finger, playing the G, to the third, playing obviously the E, and then the C. This is something that is not that easy at first, I can understand, especially if you start from the little finger. But is the way the song uh, is, and uh, <laughs> we have to definitely try to do our best, yeah? I uh, obviously assume that you know everything about the notes, I don't want to mention any more the names and the length of the notes, because at this stage you have to be definitely able to recognize the length of the notes, so the value, uh, crotchets for example, or quarter notes, but you have to understand what does it mean in terms of length, meaning or half note, and you should know how many counts is it, and semi-brief or a whole note and you should know how many counts it has to be held. Time for me to play now for you, yeah? First of all at higher speed and then at slower speed. <coughs> we confirm the position of Thompson part one with the thumbs on the middle C both and the fingers being on the following keys. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. invite you to um, memorize the position of the notes because be advised as soon as you will um, start Thompson part 2 after few pieces you will have to definitely learn how to move the hands and you will start learning the notes so please I insist memorize the notes um, Thompson is pushing you to learn the, uh, the notes using the photographic memory this has to be for you, always. The, which one is this note? <laughs> is the G. G belongs to the second line. What about this one? Which one is the note that we have on the first line of the treble clef stave? It is the E, obviously. And this is the most famous one. As I like to say, usually, is the middle C. Pay attention. Then you have one extra note at some point, because in the first line you use only the three notes that I've just mentioned. What about this one? Which one is the note that you play with the fourth finger of the left hand and that is in the last space of the bass clef stave? Why do I say the last? Because we count the spaces 
as you've learned in the beginning from bottom yeah first the second third and fourth space the space is the one in between two lines and which one is this not it is the G yeah isn't it anyways these are the only four notes that you have to play in the bugles only four notes up to the end of the piece now I'm going to play it slower one two three four As I usually say, try, if you can, to respect strictly the thumb that has to be used. Here Thompson is asking you to play the middle C with the left hand thumb, and here with the right. It's not really that much important, obviously, but it is important for only one reason, to raise the level of your attention, your focus. Here you have to play it with the left hand, and if you push yourself even more, keeping the concentration up to the end, you will learn how to have control over yourself even more when you play, okay? And here with the right hand thumb. I don't think that there is anything else that has, has to be mentioned. If you have any question, anyways, feel free to contact me by commenting, let me know how it's going. And if it's the first time that you're landing on this channel thanks to this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.